What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to be discussing one that I ended up liking even more than I thought. I was very excited to get it. I recently got it in a package that was sent to me by Aroma Concepts. It is from Paris Corner in their Amir line. This is Trillium. It is their take on Raja Parfums, Elysium, Parfum Cologne. So let's talk about what's the same and what's different. And if it's even worth it for like the 40-ish dollars you can get it for. Stay tuned. So I would be remiss if we didn't take a look at the presentation. So you can see it's much larger, but still in the same vein. Push out style, info on the back. So we'll just take a look at the Trillium one. We won't go into too much detail on the Raja Parfums one, but very much in the same vein. Slide out with the foam cut out to fit the box. And then when we're looking at the bottles, I mean, they went the same route. They're not the same shape with the exact same cap, but obviously you can see that's what they were going for. So with Trillium, it's a little bit taller with a thicker base printed in gold, a mirror and Trillium. You have some info on the bottom, nothing on the back. And then the cap, it definitely doesn't feel the quality level of the Raja caps that have the jewels like this, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. There's a little bit of weight to it hefty bit of plastic filling but this is a cool looking cap and then the atomizer nice and wide light mist as you can see that scent profile because if you compare it to the original very similar very similar atomizer let's talk about the scent so I have the notes on screen for you guys and the biggest thing the biggest takeaway with this one is that it's immensely fresh this is much fresher than the Parfum Cologne, which this is the fresh version of Elysium as it stands. The Parfum Porome is much more dense, rich, and sweet citrus, whereas this is bright and metallic. This is even brighter, even more metallic, grapefruit dominant. It has the same note breakdown. The main thing to take away from this one, it's not so much about pulling notes from it, it's accords, because there's an amalgamation of notes here. You do get a little bit of woodiness as it dries, but it's mainly about this musky tone with this nice fresh woody vetiver in its base. And up top, it's all about bright citrus with this metallic, almost aquatic type tone. Black currant, for example, helps add that metallic tone to this fragrance. It's very citrus fruity dominant but like I said, watery and super fresh with Paris Corner's take on it. It's very addictive. I've literally, just this week, it's Friday at the recording of this, I got this fragrance on Sunday, I believe I opened the package. I've already worn it four times. I've worn it out the shower, I've worn it to the gym, I've worn it casually during the day. I just keep going back to this one. I love the way this one smells. I think for the money, it's a great option because it's not a one-to-one, 100% -one, carbon copy because it's so much fresher. The quality is not on the exact same level, but there's no mistaking they were going for Elysium Parfum Cologne. I would say relatability just as far as the scent profile, I would say it's every bit of like 85% accurate to how Elysium Parfum Cologne actually smells. Now, the one thing you have to temper your expectations on is the performance with this one. With longevity, I've been looking at three to four hours with this one. Now, for the price point, it's not the worst thing in the world, but there are fragrances in this price point that blow it away in performance. I understand that. But the biggest thing that makes me okay with it is when you smell just how bright and fresh this fragrance actually is, you can understand why it's short-lived because to get this level of freshness, you're typically not gonna have a hefty base or a high oil concentration. It's gonna be one of the two is gonna be the trade-off to create the level of freshness that this fragrance achieves because this fragrance is, I would say, exponentially fresher than the, the original that it's actually cloning. That's my interpretation of it. Anyways, projection, bright, airy, very, very loud in the first 30 to 45 minutes into the, full hour I would say is where the projection starts to die down so about a solid hour of pretty good arms reach ish depends on the situation your skin chemistry kind of arms reach type of stuff for me and my skin and then the sillage is definitely on the milder side um, after about an hour to two hours 
it's not going to hit you in the nose, at least for me, it's not going to hit you in the nose heavily. I do get light whiffs of it, very light whiffs of it from time to time when I make certain movements. But after about the four hour mark, it's pretty much a faint skin scent at that point. Uh, so it's pretty much time to reapply. If you want to just relive that opening, I would say every two to three hours, this is one to refresh. You can push it to about the four hour mark. I'm sure if you spray your clothes, if you spray your shirt, you will get some more life out of it. I'm not the type to typically spray my clothing. I'm sure I could probably pull at minimum another hour, maybe two hours out of it on my clothes and get into that six hour, seven hour range possibly. But for what it is, I actually believe that because it's so fresh, the performance definitely suits it. Of course, you would desire more. I can imagine people desiring more from it, but I don't mind refreshing. I usually am in a situation where I can keep the bottle with me if I know I'm going to be gone gone beyond the time frame that I get as far as longevity. So just temper expectations with performance if you're going to dive into this one because the scent is so magical that it's it's kind of worth trading off some of the performance to get this level of fresh. Final thoughts on Paris Corners Emir Trillium. Their clone or basically their interpretation of Roger Parfum's Elysium Parfum Cologne. I dig it. I love the way it smells. Now, the performance is going to be on the lackluster side. It's below average. I could see a lot of people really complaining about performance and or desiring more. I desire a little bit more, but it's not the end of the world. I'm cool with that. For this price, I have a ton of freshies that perform like this. A ton of them that I enjoy and spray and wear on a regular basis. I would say this is definitely worth checking out. I do think because the scent is just so good, it brings its overall rating up a bit where the performance rating would take a hit to lower its overall grade. I think it still falls into a very good 7 out of 10 rating because if this was to say give me 6 or 7 hours, it would bolster its rating all the way up to probably an 8, 8.5 great. Whereas the performance takes its overall grade down a little bit. Because for those of you who have been watching me a long time, I still score four different categories and come up with an overall. It's just over the last, I forgot how many hundreds of individual reviews, I just do the overall score on screen for you guys because that's really all that matters. But like I said, if you temper your expectations on performance with this one, I think you can really get some enjoyment out of this because on a hot summer's day, <laughs> this stuff's going to be great. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Paris Corners Emir Trillium. Thank you once again, Aroma Concepts, for sending this my way. If you're interested in picking this up, either in the North American market or the European market, I'll have links down below to both websites with a 10% off code. If you want to check it out, that is up to you. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Trillium from Amir from the Paris Corner brand and you give it a spray now, there's a really good chance you'll thank me later, as long as you're not going into this expecting a beast. Because it smells great. Have a good one, guys.